All right, welcome back to our Tottenham career mode. So we've entered the month of December and it is quite a busy month. We have Chelsea, Everton, Liverpool, final Europa League game of the group stage and then a cup game. So a lot happening this month. Probably going to break it down into two episodes, I think. This episode will get through half of December and then in the next one we'll finish December. All right, so in the comments, you guys wanted me to train in Dombele's shooting. So we're going to put him on box to box for a few weeks see if we can get his finishing up and he's also two weeks away from becoming an 82 so that's good to see even though he's injured for nine days all right first game of this episode we're taking on villa they're in 17th so they haven't had a great start to this season all right so like i said and is out for this game la is going to come in for him in the midfield looks like villa are putting out their regular team i know triore has like seven goals in the league so far so he's having a good season ollie watkins up top a decent team but I think we should be able to beat them. We should. So we're going to sim this game and we'll see how this goes. In our last sim game like this, we won convincingly. So I'm hoping for that again. So we're going to change our game plan here. I've not done this yet. I completely forgot to. I'm going to put us on attacking for this first part. I want to get this goal. Would be a good start. Against a team like Villa, we should be on the attacking side. Kane, Deli. Deli's in and Deli scores. Deli Alley. 15th minute. 1-0 up on Villa. That is a good start. All right, Bale out on the wing. He's going to pick that up, and Bale goes for a shot. I think it's saved. Corner swung in, and we're not going to get anything from that. All right, that is halftime. We're bossing possession. Good to see. Let's keep it up in this second. Villa have not had a shot yet, so we're in command of this game. Oh, he's in again. He's in again. He's in again. Deli Alley scores his second 53rd minute. This man is just in form. 2-0 up. We might get a third here. And Sun scores in the 62nd minute. 3-0. This is a good performance. Maybe changing tactics actually helped. Because we have been dominating Villa in this game as we should. Alright, so Lucas, Winks, and Bergwijn are on for this last 15 minutes. We're on balance now, so maybe... Doesn't even matter. We're still scoring. Harry Winks, 77th minute. 4-0 against Villa. We're top of the league and we're playing like we belong there. This is going to be a well-earned 3 points. Son might be in again. He might be in again. Son to Lucas Mora, and that is 5 0. 5 0. I am loving this. We have a chance at maybe a sixth. No, we don't. But it's 5 0. Lucas winks. Son, Deli Alley scoring twice. That is just a great performance. Could not be happier with that. All right, next game is against Chelsea. Chelsea are down in seventh, but they're only three points away from third. We have a four-point lead at the top over Man City. We are just flying at the moment. Is the squad deep enough for you to sustain your challenge? Let's say we're going to need everyone because we have a really good squad. I don't know if this squad would challenge for a title. I mean, we're doing it right now, but do we have it in us to challenge for a whole season? That is the question. Do you have Chelsea worried? Of course they're worried. Let's just say we don't worry about the opposition. No matter who we're facing, we're just going in for the win. All right, take it on Chelsea. They've made some interesting signings. Kai Havertz on the right, Timo Werner up top. I think that is Douglas Costa on the left, I think. Ben Chilwell on the left. So it's a very interesting team. And Dombele is still out, injured. So we have Winks coming in for him. And then Bergwijn is playing on the right instead of Bale. So still playing on ultimate with competitor mode on. We're going to try that for this game. So let's see what we can do at Stamford Bridge. All right, Spurs v Chelsea, Kai Havertz. Timo Werner, this is going to be an interesting game. Let's see if we can keep up our form against a pretty decent Chelsea side. Hopefully Ndombele's absence doesn't hurt us too much in the midfield. Winks is very capable of coming in for him. So I do have faith in him. And he does score from time to time, Winks. Is in now. Sun is in now. Sun is in now. Oh, I just messed that up. Should have shot at goal. Mendy in goal instead of Kepa. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't know who Octavio is. I literally have no idea who this is, but he's playing at camp for Chelsea. Timo Werner with the ball. Gets that into Douglas Costa. And Winks gets a very good challenge in. All right. Tavio into Havertz. Squares it, but Lloris is in a good position to get that. All right. Chelsea have had a decent start. Can get that out to Sun. Like I said, I need to get Sun more involved. He's one of our best players. That is up to Kane on the volley. Oh, that was with his left. Still not a bad effort. We went for the spectacular there. All right, they bring it back. Octavio 
to Havertz. Oh, I just let him in. Lloris makes a good save, though. Lloris has been so good for us. So good. Corner swung in. That is comfortable for Lloris. All right, this is going to be halftime probably. Winks. Play that to Hoiberg. First time shot straight at Mendy. All right, and that is the first half. Nil-nil, pretty close. See what we can do in the second half. Bergwijn's get it back. Trying to move this around. Chelsea are defending pretty decently. Defending pretty decently. We could be in here, though. Winks. Oh, Winks. It's a good save from Mendy into Timo. This is looking dangerous. Just don't really want to shoot. They spend so much time trying to find a perfect shot. They don't really shoot much. Jorginho, Timo, and Timo Werner puts that in for Chelsea. It's always when I say something. I talk about them not shooting, and then all of a sudden they shoot and score. I need to not say anything when I'm defending. I always jinx myself. It's a good finish from Werner, and Chelsea are up 1-0. That is a through ball to Timo. This is not looking good for us. Trying to recover. Good challenge by Toby. All right, I'm going to move Winks over because Hoiberg is tired. I'm going to bring on Lacelso. Just need more attacking. And that's all we're going to do for now. 69th minute. Corner is swung in. Should clear that out comfortably. Back into Timo. Ziyech, I think he just came on. Oh, the challenge goes right back to him. And that's in off the post. 2-0 to Chelsea. It's a good finish from Ziyech. I think I pulled my defender away from him. We made a good challenge. It just went straight back to him. That is truly unfortunate. All right. 72nd minute down 2-0. We could bring this back and make it a draw, which would be a great result at this point, but it's going to take a lot from this team. Oh, Lo Celso loses it. I think I need to make more changes. This team is just not having it today. I don't know if we're missing Ndombele, but I'm trying to be more aggressive here. We win that. All right, we need to get this forward. We need to get this forward. Lo Celso. Lo Celso finish this for me. Lo Celso finishes it. Pick the ball up. He doesn't want to pick the ball up. All right, 2-1. I think there's 10 minutes left for us to try and score a second. All right, I'm going to bring on Bale at Cam because Deli Alley is kind of tired. I'm going to play him at Cam and see how he does. I think that's our best option here. And then I'm going to bring on Suzoko for Winks. That is the last change I'm going to make. 10 minutes. 10 minutes to try and scrap a point away from this game. I have to try and be aggressive with my tackling. Great tackle from Suzoko. Just need a better outlet. Bale gives me that outlet. Play that. Play that. Regulo on our left back, and we equalize. 2-2. We've come back in this game. The least likely of people to score this goal. Got in a very good spot, and that is a very good finish from Regulon. I thought we were out in this game. 85th minute. We make it 2-2. There's still five minutes left. Still five minutes, and the momentum is in our hands. So can we possibly get one more goal? We don't have a lot of time, though. We do not have a lot of time. All right, one minute left. This might be a draw. It's probably going to be full time, and it is. All right, down 2-0. Brought it back 2-2. That's a good result. Considering where we were, I like this result. A point away at Chelsea is not a bad game. We did not play very well this game, but we still came back. So I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. All right, final Europa League game of the group stage. Sitting in first on 15 points. Our last game is against Braga. But even if they beat us, I think our goal difference, because I think that's what it goes off of. I think we'll finish first, no matter what. So we're going to put out the second team and see what they can do in this game. Once again, I'm going to start us off on attacking. We should be beating Braga. This is a good game for the second team. Should it do well in this game? All right, we're dominating this game. Just no goals to show for it just yet. Lamella to Vinicius, and that is goal number one, 63rd minute. We are up 1-0. Vinicius on the score sheet once again. All right, so Cornet, Marsh, and Serkin are coming in. Last 20 minutes of this game, up 1-0. We should be fine in this game. All right, into injury time. Still 1-0. It looks like we'll hold on to this, and we will. So 1-0 win, Vinicius goal, sealing the three points for us. So we end the Europa League group stage perfect through all six games. All right, next game is against Sheffield United. They are down in 20th, so top of the league versus bottom of the league. So our lead at the top is down to two points, but we do have a game in hand. This could go up to five points if we win it. So regular first team taking on Sheffield United. We're going to play this game, so let's see what we can do. All right, this is a game you think we would win. Harry Kane, 16 goals, still top scorer of the Premier League. 
see what we can do against bottom of the league Sheffield United. Curious to see how bottom of the league Sheffield play on ultimate with competitor mode on. That is what I'm curious about. Bale could be in there. Bednarek playing for Sheffield. That's a good signing from Southampton. Decent center back. Good challenge by Dyer on McBurney. Dyer has been so good for us. So impressed with him at center back. I thought he would be the one weak link in this team. But he has done so well for us. All right, get that out to Sun. Give and go with Kane, maybe. Give it back to him. That's a good pass. Going to cut in. Sun. Finesse shot blocked. All of my finesse shots are always blocked. Kane. What can we do with this? Going to go for a finesse shot. Ramsdale has to save it. Decent shot. Corner. Swung in by Sun. Toby. And that is not on target. All right. Sheffield are playing decent. 37 minutes in. They're playing decent. Trying to put pressure to recover this ball. And Dombele wins it back. He's a madman. Delhi, 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 And that is goal number one. That is all in Dombele winning that ball back. Just put us in a great spot and we go up 1-0 in this game. Bale plays it into Delhi. Look at this dribbling from Delhi Alley. It's just beautiful. And it ends up in the back of the net. 11 goals for Delhi Alley. 45th minute up 1-0. All right, start of the second half. Let's try and build on this 1-0 lead. Sheffield are looking sort of threatening to start this second half. McBurney, decent pass. Oh, I just let him in. I just let him in, and then it's in off the post. Oh, I just let him in. I keep doing that. I keep letting him in. I think it's because their ball rolls are so smooth. Goes side to side. Oh, I, sh I see. I should have went left and covered him. I should have went left. That is completely my fault. It's a pretty good finish in off the post. From Oliver Burke. 58th minute, 1-1. One, one. All right. This looks like it might be a game. Ndombele. Kane. Get that to Aurier. Aurier, far post to Ndombele, maybe? Ndombele off the post. Oh, that was a good effort. That is unfortunate. That would have been a very good goal. They're just playing so defensive. Every time we win the ball back, they keep their fullbacks at home. So counterattacking is, like, not really a thing. Already the 88th minute, I did not even realize, and Bale is offside. Is it really the 88th minute? It's the 88th minute. I did not even know that. I was so locked in in this game that I did not even realize. All right, we're going to bring on Winks and Lacelso. I'll bring on Bergwijn for Bale, just for the extra pace. But one minute left in regular time. This might be a draw. Scoreboard's like glitched for some reason. Let's see if we can possibly get one more chance. Or our Sheffield just going to keep the ball. We get the ball there. Goes out. And that is full time. So two draws in a row for us. Definitely not at our best. We definitely ruined some chances. And they took their one chance. So they get a point. We should be scoring more goals in a game like this. All right. So I was going through my team in terms of development plans. And I saw Suzoko. I've been using him as a CDM. So I thought I might as well change him to a CDM. And he's gone from a 78 to an 80 overall at 31 years old. Plus two, changing his position. That is why I like this feature so much. Because he would probably soon be a 77, but now he's an 80 overall. That is one thing I love about FIFA 21. It makes career mode so much better. So much more depth in terms of changing your team around. All right, last game of this episode. Taking on Brighton in the EFL Cup. This is the quarterfinals. Using our second team, Cornet coming in. Looks like Brighton have signed Thibaut Puki from Norwich. So that is interesting. Brighton are a decent team. But our second team has done very well for us. So I expect more of that in this game. Possibly take us to the semifinals of the EFL Cup. All right. We're in search of a trophy for Spurs. Spurs have not won a trophy in a decent amount of time. Even though it's just the Carabao Cup, we want that trophy this season. So I'm going to try and make it to the semis. And it's another opportunity to use this second team that I really like using. So let's see what we can do. Get that up to Lamella. Good pass. Vinicius, Vinicius near post, that is saved. Not his best shot, not his best shot. Corner swung in. Sizoko, Sizoko scoring with a header. The man that is now an 80 overall, plus two. Puts it in the back of the net, up one nil. Good corner, and that is a very good header from that far out in the top corner. Musa Sizoko, up one nil, I'm liking this. Get that to Lamella, can try and come forward again here. 
Play that to Cornet. Get it wide to Doherty. Gonna try and cross this in to Vinicius. Does not quite come off. I think the changing position feature of career mode is just a game changer. It's a terrible pass. It's just so satisfying. Because Suzuka would have gone down to a 77 soon. And we probably would have sold him. Didn't show much value to the team. But change his position to a CDM. He's an 80 overall. We also put him on defensive training. So that is going to preserve his overall as well. And slow his decline. Which is so cool. Brighton are having some decent passing here though. McAllister. Sanchez gets past him. Doherty. That is pretty lucky. All right, and that is halftime. That half went by very quick. Up 1-0. Brighton have played decent, though. They played decent. There's still a threat in this game. All right, Brighton are actually coming into this game even more. Having some decent passing. And that is going to go out for a goal kick. Going to get that to Vinicius. Lamella. Lamella has not had the best of games, but he can turn that around in the second half. Winks. Going to get it back to Lamella. Lamella shoots, and that is saved. Did not want to shoot with Winks. Did not want to shoot with him. Corner swung in. Corner. Oh, Sanchez almost gets to that. Probably should have got a better header on that. This is to Cornet. Lamella outside the box. That is not on target. Good tackle. We go on a counter attack off of this. Vinicius. Vinicius. He's in. Vinicius scores our second. What a steal from the midfield. That is the reason we scored once again. Good challenge that leads to a quick counterattack. Vinicius showing his turn of pace as well, and that is a good finish. That is a really good finish on his left foot. All right, up 2-0, 25 minutes left. That has made this lead a lot safer. Uh, that's a good ball through. Ozate goes for a shot that is blocked. Good defending in the end, good defending. Could go on a counterattack here. Play that through. Not the best of balls, but Bergwijn recovers pretty decently. Maybe going to flip this. That was terrible from me. All right, Fernandez, Marsh, and Serkin are coming in for the end of this game. It's been a decent performance against a team we probably should beat. Fernandez could be in here. No, he is not. Now they kind of have numbers here. They kind of have numbers. They get the right pass. Tanganga, great. Cut out, though. Play that to Cornet. Could have one final attack in this game. Vinicius. Vinicius. And play that to Cornet. And that is 3-0. We are on our way to the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. Could have scored with Vinicius, but I thought it'd be unselfish. Let's get Cornet a goal. This has been a very good performance. This second team performs very well in these games. 3-0. On to the semifinals. Just a clean, clean win. All right, so this is where we're going to end this episode. It is December 19th. So in the next one, we'll finish December and we will head into January. So we have Man City in the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. That is going to be an interesting two-leg tie. Hopefully, we can still make it past them, though. All right, so once that January transfer window opens, we are going to go straight for Skriniar. He's going to be quite expensive, but I do think we have the money to pull it off. So he is going to be our main target for January. Other than him, we're still scouting a lot of other players, but he is the main target for January. And there has been some decent growth in this team. Tanganga plus two to a 73. Dyer plus four to an 82. I wonder if he's gone up so much because all his four little attributes on the bottom are green. I wonder if that's why, but he's done very well for us. Hoybeer up three to an 83. We have him on defensive training, and that has helped him a lot considering he is our main CDM. Wings plus one, Sizoko up to an 80, like I said. Four, Bergwijn plus two to an 85. He is progressing rapidly. 23 years old, 85. Next season, he is going to be one of our main men out wide, for sure. And Dombele plus one, Lo Celso plus two, Deli plus two to an 85, Cornet plus one, Bale minus one. Kane plus one to an 89 and then Vinicius plus three to an 82. So I'm really liking the growth out of this squad. So we're ending this episode sitting in first still in the Premier League. Three points over City, five points over Wolves and six points over Liverpool in fourth. That is surprising that Chelsea are all the way down in eighth. Arsenal in 10th too. I mean, they could climb up to like fifth and sixth pretty easily, but still to see them that low is is interesting. Bottom three currently Palace, Villa and Sheffield United. 
And then current top scorer of the Premier League, Harry Kane with 16. Jamie Vardy for Manchester United is doing very well for them with 11. And then Deli Alli in third with 11 as well. And then Kane, Ali, and Son leading the league in assists. That is good to see. Even Ndombele having six. And then Hugo Lloris leading in clean sheets tied with Patricio and Ederson. This has been just an amazing start to this Premier League season. Couldn't have been a better start for us. Still trying to find the right difficulty, that sweet spot. We drew twice today. We drew with Chelsea, which I would say is realistic. And then we drew with Sheffield United, which is, I would say that's realistic as well. I mean, a lot of the time we see these lower Premier League teams getting points off of the big ones. So I feel like definitely ultimate is where we need to be. Now it just depends on competitor mode on or off and then maybe involving sliders as well. So we'll maybe look to do that in the next episode. But if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like on the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you all have a great day.